Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. Welcome to my uh, YouTube station. I shoot all my YouTubes at home, obviously. My office is across the street. Uh, I've got, I don't know, 11, 1200 YouTubes. I have about 5,000 people uh, subscribing to my channel. Um, I give you honest information. I've been doing uh, IRS work for uh, 50 years since August uh, 1973. Yes, don't I look good since August 73? I worked at IRS for a decade. I've been in private practice for uh, four decades. I have been doing this a long, long time and I am an expert and IRS resolution matters. A matter of fact, if you look at my whole team at 777irs.com, you probably will not, you won't probably find a firm in the United States that has more work IRS working work experience than myself. We are a private company. We don't have this big, 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 big uh, boiler room operation going. So uh, we don't want you to get ripped off. So I do these YouTubes for a number of reasons. So you don't get ripped off. So um, you can get educated as to what's going on. I give you insider information from the IRS perspective. And uh, yeah, I try to give you what you need to know. I don't need a fancy hat. I know need to wear lipstick and have a suit and have all these books behind me like I'm somebody. Um, in fact, um, I've been on TV a number of times. You can see all my interviews on national TV on, on, on my website. Today, I want to talk to you about back taxes owed and kind of how, how to have success if you owe back taxes. I've been a revenue officer for 10 years. I have worked at least 10,000 cases being on the inside and the outside. I mean, you would figure I'd work that many cases if I've been doing this for 50 years. So the key to having success if you owe back taxes is knowing what the system is. It's just really common sense. Uh, a lot of people call me, what to do, what do I do, da 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 At the end of the day, you've got to know what the system is. And if you know what the system is, you're going to have success. The problem is people get these letters. And by the way, I have two people watching, those who are going to want to hire someone and those who are going to do it yourself. I try to give this information so both sides will know what's going on. So let me tell you how all this works for 30,000 feet. As a former IRS agent, whether the case is in the service center, that's the 1-800 number, or a revenue officer, which I used to be, IRS has to get your case off of, off of their inventory list and close the case. That's the 30,000 foot picture that you need to be aware of. Now, the question is, how are you going to get off that inventory screen for IRS? Well, there's one of three ways. Either, first of all, IRS is going to take a financial statement on you. The case is in the service center, it's a 433F. If the case is with the revenue officer, it's a 433A. If you have not made your own payment agreement with the IRS, IRS is going to look at that financial statement and make a determination and they are going to determine whether you are uncollectible in a hardship position or you should be in a payment agreement. That's how that works. IRS could take your financial statement and say, mm, you need to file an offer and compromise and settle your debt for pennies on a dollar. Don't go running and chasing these ads that you can uh, file uh, or get pennies on a dollar settlement. There's a pre-qualifier tool at the IRS website, uh, irs.gov uh, pre-qualifier tool. Don't call a company and pay them twenty, thirty thousand dollars for filing offers because you may not be eligible. I taught the offer program at IRS. I can literally look at your financial statement within, I don't know, 15 seconds and tell you whether your case will be settled. Many of the people that listen to video who wind up hiring me, just send me their financial statement. I will tell you within 15 seconds whether you're gonna be eligible. Don't fall for the trick of calling one of these companies and you're speaking to a salesman and you pay them bunches of money. So let me just get back to how IRS is gonna close your case and having success. IRS, when they take your financial statement, 
to determine whether you're going to be currently non-collectible or hardship or a payment. When they take that financial statement, you need to know something. IRS has what's called a national standard program. That program, you need to go and research the IRS national standard program because they are going to determine how they are going to go ahead. They're going to lock you into how much they will allow for food and clothing, housing and utilities, how much you can spend on car payments, and how much you're, they're going to allow you to operate your car. If you do not know this when you're calling the IRS, you're you're going to get a big wake up call because what you're spending on these expenses IRS is not going to allow you. If you're spending uh, $5,000 for these expenses, the IRS national pro uh, national uh, uh, pro uh, national standards program may only allow you $4,000 a month. That means your payment to IRS is going to be $1,000 a month. If you want to look at my other videos on the National Standardized Program, you should. If you're going to do this yourself, do not call IRS unless you know the National Standard Program. If not, it's going to be a huge wake-up call. So if you want to have success in dealing with back taxes, you just got to know the IRS system and what they're going to do with your case when they review your financial statement. That's how you have success. Also, make sure your tax returns are filed and you're up to date. And if you're a self-employed, make sure you're making estimate payments in the year that we're in. So anyway, if you have any questions, uh, you can call me or you need representation, you can call us. All my information is below who you can call and who you email. And that's all there is. If this information was good, which I think it was, please give me a subscription. IRS, actually, you don't know this, but IRS, if you are on YouTube and you like someone, if you give them like a subscription, we only give that to us because that's how YouTube rates us. They let us know whether we're doing good and they move us up the chain if we get subscriptions. So I would really appreciate that. I welcome your comments, your questions and concern. And yes, this hat's from the University of Miami. Thank you.